Hello, welcome to another episode of Talking Sports and Fitness with Zeke. I am Zeke, also known as Mike Zielinski. Back with us for part two of the Etch Fit story is Chris Empty. Chris, welcome. Thank you. Uh, this part, uh, I really want to get into some of the, uh, the details. Etch Fit, uh, you're a partner and director of training. Uh, you work all over the country in working with high-end athletes on the uh, high school, academy, college, and professional levels. Uh, and the Etch Fit system, uh, I'm fascinated to hear what, exactly what it is because a lot of trainers learn from you. So if you don't mind, could you please delve into some of the, the nuts and bolts of this? Absolutely, sure. Yeah. Well, when I partnered with Pat Etchberry, um, who I mentioned on the last show, is, uh, he's one of the legendary strength and conditioning coaches uh, in the world, uh, in all sports. Um, and, and so when I partnered with Pat, we had the opportunity to work with a lot of professional athletes, a lot of high-end athletes. And Pat and I were working with an athlete somewhere. I don't remember where it was. And we were uh, talking in a hotel over dinner. And you know, I said to him, I said, you know, all this knowledge and expertise and, and all that you've passed on to me and, and, uh, and have let me use, and I said, so little of, of the sports world athletes get to benefit from, from all of this. And when you learn about what high schools do and a lot of colleges do, you realize a lot more people can, a lot more athletes can benefit from this knowledge. And so we talked about it and over a couple dinners that we, we kind of decided to take the training that we do and, 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 and formalize it and, and put it into a system and kind of package it so that we could exp, you know, let people of all different uh, financial means, all different college and, and educational institutions and sports teams be able to take advantage of, of how you truly train as an athlete and what makes, what makes you so what makes you so good? What can get you from where you are to where you want to be? So you work on mechanics, you work on form, you work on speed training. I'm sure you yeah. probably touch upon all that. So. Yeah, oh, absolutely. So the, the biggest thing that we do is more in the diagnostic part of things, more in the evaluation, the testing, and really getting to know an athlete's body. And so what you find a lot in a lot of uh, high schools and colleges, uh, you'll find that if you're a tennis player, you know, the, the strength conditioning coach, okay, here's your program, you're a tennis player, everyone do this, everyone do that. Um, if you're a baseball player, all position players, let's do this, here's your workout. Right. So maybe the pitchers get a little bit extra something different. Maybe a quarterback gets something, they're excused from different things. But other than that, everyone gets the same type of training, uh, which is dangerous. Um, because what you find is, like, we can go back to tennis, for example, you may have um, an athlete who's a, um, a servant volleyer versus an athlete who's an all, a tennis right. player who plays all, all court. Well, you have to train them completely different. So basically, you know, one size doesn't fit all. We don't train any, any athlete the same. So if we go into a college and work with a baseball team and we're working with infield, well, they're all different positions. They all have different deficiencies. And so you cannot train them the same. Yeah, yeah, that would and make And so, sense. yeah, and so it's, uh, it, it was just, so yeah, it goes back to the beginning part of a very thorough evaluation analysis of their body. You, you do symmetry, right, left uh, imbalances. Sometimes the right leg stronger than the left and they're doing squatting exercises. Well, you don't do, you know, you don't do two-legged exercises if one leg's stronger than the other. You have to be able to make sure that you're doing single leg exercise to balance that out, otherwise you're gonna get hurt. So, you know, again, a lot of it's in the diagnostic part of it, and then you, from there, you come up with a very strategic plan, but also based on their position. So you can train a whole baseball team. football, or even football, even more. Absolutely. Uh, difference between you know, a big lineman and a, a, you know, a skilled Yeah, player, yeah. Know? And sometimes those programs would be a little different, but it still gets back to all the running backs may do the same program. And that's not, they're very different. Right. They may have different, different deficiencies, different things they need to work on, so they shouldn't be on the same program. So are, 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 your, are your goals like explosion, strength, quickness? What are you trying to, or is it goals different for each it, athlete? It, different for every athlete. We yeah. evaluate what they need and what they need to correct any deficiencies they have, but also what they need in their position. So every, every, every player on any team that we work with has, has a customized plan. Now, a lot of the top teams, or even, even regular high school teams, uh, partner with some kind of fit trainer. So you're bringing it to a whole new level. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, just to, we're trying to let these athletes, these high schools and colleges, even the best of them, uh, we, you know, learn, learn benefit from, from how the, the Olympic athletes and professional athletes train and how you get people that are already great, how you get them even better. And so when you take it a step down, you know, we take it away from the cookie cutter concept. 
right. where you know soccer teams in here, everyone starts squatting and everyone do deadlifting, everyone do this. Well, if you don't really evaluate those athletes, you don't know what they shouldn't. Should. So that that's where things get a little complicated. It must be easier to work with these people because they're very dedicated. This, especially because whether they're professional or not. This is their primary focus in life, yeah. and so it's not like someone you might be casually training who who's into it when they're in the gym and then they're home eating the ice cream at night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're yeah. easy to sell pills to. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot easier to sell a pill to them than, than this. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so what other uh, specifics do you get into? You know, uh, how do you make this happen? Once you tailor a program. Do uh, you make suggestions on various different movements? Yeah, well, so what we do, like for example, we have a, an academy in Boston right now. It's the last one that, that we're working with. And I, so I went there and I spent two days evaluating all the athletes in that academy that they wanted me to specifically target and work with. And so I went up, I evaluated them, left them the report, and some of them were younger, and, and Dorcas was one who happened to be 74, uh, but some of them are other athletes. She she is a, uh, a world-class senior tennis, tennis player. Tennis right. player, that's right, that's yeah. right, yeah. yeah. So she, her goal is to be number one in the world in, in, in what she does. So, But we, we, our, our basic model is we'll go, we'll evaluate, whether it's a college team, an academy, we evaluate the athletes, we then write out their program, meet with their, with their strength conditioning coaches. Um, if they happen to be, if there's, their parents happen to be there, we communicate with them. Uh, and then we go back and every week we communicate with the strength and conditioning coach that's working or trainer or coach with them and we communicate how their training is going and if we need to make adjustments we'll modify their program every week. Uh, and then every probably three months we go back and reevaluate. We spend time one on one with them and evaluate what they're doing. But they'll also send video to us. They'll send video. We'll have them videotape their athlete while they're training so we can how many people are working with you? I know you mentioned your partner, Pat, and yourself, but I mean, how many athletes do you work with and oh, how many people work with you? Yeah, it's, it's, boy, it's a lot of athletes. I mean, we, there's some organizations that we work with that have hundreds of athletes that you know, we just help consult and oversee what they do. So it's, it's a lot. So it's, how many people work with you? So, we're, so it's it, Pat and I, Pat Etchberry, myself, and then we have another guy, Jim, who uh, it was a phenomenal accomplished athlete. Uh, who, who works with us as well. Um, he does more of, of sales sales and marketing, but very knowledgeable in what he does. And then another uh, gentleman um, uh, who does our, our uh, software work. Oh, yeah, yeah, everybody needs an yeah, idea. Yeah, 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 but he's also, I think he's number one in the country in, in tennis. Uh, I'm starting myself with tennis guys here, but. Yeah, and for people who may have missed our first program, uh, Chris is a former professional tennis player. So we'll give that context. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we'd... Uh, I know a lot of professional athletes prefer to keep this quiet. They don't really like to see. Is there anyone that you train that you could share their name with? Ah, well. And you know, you know if that's not the no, case, I yeah, don't put you no. On the I mean, the la I'll tell you, the last guy that, that I helped out a little bit uh, down in Sarasota was uh, was Jimmy Arias, who's a commentator on uh, the Tennis Channel. Oh yeah, yeah. And he's, uh, you know, he was top five in the world for for you know, quite a few years. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we helped him out with a shoulder problem down in Sarasota and, and uh, stay in touch. But yeah, no, so a lot of them, uh, you know, a lot of them. And I know uh, you've, uh, I don't know if you work with Djokovic or Nadal, but if you do, you're doing a heck of a job. With <laughs> yeah. You know what, uh, yeah. we're almost out of time, but let me ask you this, because I know you have done local training as well. If there's an elite athlete in the Berks County area who wants, how can they get in touch with you and can you help them? Uh, oh, absolutely. No, absolutely. We're, yeah, yeah. no, absolutely. We're, uh, How, what's the best way to get in contact with you? Well, you if, know, I have your business card. <laughs> that, does that get put up on, uh, I don't think so. No, it doesn't get put up. Okay. But is there a number? Yeah, no, absolutely. There is, there is a cell phone number. Uh, it's 610-207-1408. I'm reading off the cards if I don't know it, huh? <laughs> and, and the email is, I can't see it anyway, <laughs> but the email is, uh, etchfitsports at gmail.com. So either, either we'll call, right. text, email, whatever, uh, whatever is easiest. So uh, if you want to be world class, give Chris a call. Uh, I'd give you a call, but I'm a little past my prime. But anyway, <laughs> thank you so much, Chris Emke of EdgeFit. And uh, we appreciate it. Best of luck to you. And uh, you take care. And uh, for all of you watching, please continue to watch the peoplechronicles.com. And for now, this is Zeke saying aloha.